Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a can of Mangzaro. Mango Milkshake IPA from Stack Brewing out of Sudbury, Ontario, coming in at 5.5% alcohol volume. This is one of the best, like, weird, random labels I've ever seen in my life. That is glorious. Obviously some kind of reference, like, it, it's, it, it's superhero-y. Like, I'm not sure why it's Mangzaro, because that brings to mind Bizarro, Bizarro Superman. And I don't know if anybody who would be the opposite of Mangzaro, but anyway, I don't know. My work brings me to Sudbury sometimes, and I was lucky enough to pop into the brewery because I was there during the day last week and grabbed this. This is the only beer they had without me having to purchase a brand new growler slash uh, Boston round kind of thing that I could get that I hadn't had before. But I'm okay with that. Picture. Yeah, it's pretty damn hazy, but not actually as hazy as one would expect a milkshake IPA to be. Like, if I put my finger through it with some light, I can totally see through it. It's weird. I talked to one of the uh, reps at the North on Tap Festival I was at recently in Haleybury, Ontario. Big shout out to that festival. Happens every year around this time. Well, second year just happened. It's definitely come back for a third year. Be there next year. I will be and we can meet and stuff. Um, they didn't, they purposely, purposefully, purposefully didn't make it super, super heavy on the body and stuff. They, they wanted it to be kind of a thinner milkshake IPA. So it's a milkshake IPA because they did add lactose and stuff. It's just not as much lactose as they could have added or something. I don't know. Let's get in there. Yeah. Whole lot of mango coming through on the aroma. It smells fantastic. Let's, let's get in there. Give her a shot. Yes. That's really good. Myself, I would, I would have brewed this and made it a bit more on the kind of heavy mouthfeel thing, just because that's what I expect when I see milkshake IPA and when I drink it. And it, this is all the thin. There's no heavy anything, so it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it seems more like a New England style IPA because it's hazy, it's juicy. I don't know. But I like it. So, you know, I'm not really bitching. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Woo! Yeah, <clears throat> lots and lots of mango flavor. Really not any kind of lingering bitterness or even big bitterness anywhere to speak of. The lingering flavor is just the mango. I like the mango. I think mango is one of those fruits that when you add it right to an IPA, I haven't had it really with anything else that I can think of, but when you do a mango IPA right, it's, it's freaking fantastic. This, like, the other ones I've had that are notable in my head would be uh, Barnstormers Flight Delay with Mango. Their Mango Flight Delay. Probably one of the best beers I had kind of early on in my beer drinking adventure. Uh, then there would be, obviously, Liquid Art Fest IPA from Collective Arts, which was amazingly, like, crazy, unbelievable mind-blowing levels. That was a milkshake IPA too. 
I was going to say mind-blowing levels of the hazy and the juicy. Like, this is a milkshake IPA. But to compare this to the Liquid Art Fest, if I remember, I'll try to put them like side by side there or something like that. Yeah. I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, you know, like they're, they're both the same style. They both got mango. But, I don't know. As far as just, uh, I'm going to say, I can't remember what this can cost, but it was way less than $5 for this can of beer. Way less. And it's, you know, it's, it's more of a beer than uh, the Liquid Art Fest one was. We'll say that. Because that one was at the point where it, it's still beer, which is one of the things I have said before recently. I love the fact that that's still beer. It's awesome what you can do when it's still beer. But to bring it back and kind of, this is more of a beer. This is kind of more of that IPA flavor with the mango, as opposed to that being like an IPA, but it's basically just a can of fruit juice. I think that's a good way to put it. Wow, I haven't drank much of this. I just hit the 10 minute mark. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I'm gonna start, I'm, I wanna get a 10 minute mark and now I say this. I wanted to uh, say it be, I was gonna, God damn it. Mm. I wanted to bring this up. It popped into my head as I was talking about this in the middle of it and there was I couldn't think of any good way to segue so I just kind of kept going through with what, with what going through with what I was saying friends were over early this evening and we might have had a couple drinks full disclosure my mouth isn't working properly yeah um, I want to start bringing up the actual brewery website earlier on in the vlog stackbrewing.ca right damn right we'll bring you to stackbrewing.ca they're in a really kind of obscure weird corner of Sudbury Ontario like I I think I've said it to them not necessarily to them but to a couple people from them they need to open up like what Lake of the uh, Lake of Bays just did they're a brewery in Baysville kind of off the beaten path from the highway I think it's like a good 10 20 minute drive I haven't been there but off the highway to get to them they just opened up a small brew pub kind of thing in Huntsville, Ontario, which is like a really big tourist destination and it's like right downtown, I believe. And so now you can go there and get all the beers and stuff and, you know, tourist has, like Stack needs to open up something kind of more central Sudbury, in my personal opinion. I think they could do that and it'd be cool. And now I'm going to do the break thing that I probably should have done at least two minutes ago. Damn, damn, damn tasty mango IPA. Like, I would put this a little bit above the uh, Barnstormer, but a little bit below the Liquid Art Fest. But at the same time, it's kind of apples to oranges with the Liquid Art Fest because that is way more on the milkshake side and way more... Like, it's mango and vanilla and passion fruit in that one, whereas this is just mango, so... Yeah. The closest comparison would be the Barnstormer one, and uh, yeah, this wasn't read before the break was taken, so let's do that now. Struck by lightning while climbing a mango tree, Mangzaro gained the, the unique ability to manipulate mangoes on a molecular level. Believing himself to be superior to average humans, Mangzaro uses his powers for world domination and other crimes of passion. Fruit. This milkshake IPA has bold flavors of mango, pineapple, and peaches with a big tropical hop finish. Hazy, creamy, juicy, enjoy fresh. Water, malted barley, mango puree, hops, lactose, and yeast are the ingredients. And there is no date on it, but it was purchased at the brewery. And uh, we're about to get into ratings. And the only website it was found on as far as ratings was untapped. And it's only 22 ratings with an overall of 3.9 out of 5. So... It is definitely fresh. Just purchased, like, what? Maybe, maybe five days ago at the most. And I think it was just released, like, that day or maybe a couple days before kind of thing. So, almost as fresh as it can possibly be. 
so yay me. And actually, come to think of it, I'm wondering... Because they had this beer at... No, they didn't have it. Sorry. No. They were at the North on Tap Festival, the Stack People. And uh, the girl whose name I can't think of off the top of my head. Damn it. I'm sorry if you're watching right this. I'm sorry if you're watching this right now. I apologize. I can't remember your name. But uh, yeah. She had a couple cans of this. And I think she brought them for trading with other brewers. It's the kind of thing that happens with brewers at uh, festivals and stuff. They'll bring stuff and maybe do a little trade here and there with some other breweries and bring some different beers home to try kind of thing. Something that I'm kind of very much a fan of at beer festivals myself. Uh, but yeah, this wasn't actually available. I was looking over here thinking it was going to be a bunch of check-ins of people at the festival, but it wasn't actually available to try at the festival. She just had some in the back that nobody knew about. And I have some here. And then I have none. And I'm sad. Drink number the last. Mmm. Stack Brewing, your Mangzaro Mango Milkshake IPA rating. I'm going 9.5. Just because, like, it's personal preference kind of thing. I think it's delicious. And if it had been, if it had said Mango New England style IPA, I guess it wouldn't have lactose, so it'd be kind of different. But I don't know. Just. For me, it doesn't really come across as a milkshake IPA. I still think it's delicious though. So that's that's the only thing that I can possibly fault it on. If you're around, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere but the brewery. So if you're in Sudbury, then find the brewery. They're on Kelly Lake Road, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. If I'm not right, then I'll correct it here somewhere. But that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. Damn it. No, you know what? No. You know, I'm not done with doing it. No. If you have had this beer or any other stack beer, comment below and let me know what your favorite stack beer is. Yeah. Then we're going to do it. That's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, Give that thumbs up button a little bit of thumbs up action. If you want to see more, give the subscribe button a little bit of subscription action. And if you hit the bell notification, then you'll get a little, a little bit of notification action when new videos are released. I'll be back. No doubt your vlog. Tomorrow. A peace out. Kind of fell apart at the end there a little bit. Again, friends, earlier beers had previous to this one. The me is going to go to bed now. <laughs> it's pretty hazy, but it's not really as hazy as one would expect a milkshake IPA to be. And actually at the North on Tap Beer Festival that I was at recently, I talked to the uh, beer rep. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. God damn it. That's on me. Um, outtake happening. There we go.